Hey Shubi Doodlers, how are you doing? Well today I'm going to show you how to draw a King Henry VIII. Step one is planning it all out in pencil. Step two is drawing the outlines in ink. Step three is erasing those pencil lines. Step four is filling in all those twiddly bits. You're going to need a pencil and a pen and an eraser, but let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. So I am going to start by just sort of working out where the center is going to be. And let's come to about there and his head is <laughs> this, this kind of weird triangular shape. And then it sort of wants to come around and then the 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 beard is going to sort of come around like a W at the bottom like that. And his shoulders will sort of come out from about there. And we want kind of twice that distance. So that's once and twice, that's once and twice. And you can maybe even add a little bit more on. His clothes are enormous. And if we kind of see that as then as about like a square, something like that, <laughs> that's crazy. And then um, his ears will be about like that. So we'll have his hat comes out there and out there. And then we want a kind of a curve coming around there. And then that will actually, it's quite a jaunty sort of angle. And we want to have kind of a line coming down there and a line, more of an angle coming out there. And then that's his sort of great fat belly and a, um, it's kind of a belt kind of thing. And then he has this kind of skirt coming out like that. And then we're going to want his legs will be coming down there. We're going to want like a triangle for a foot at the bottom. That's in the camera. That's good. And then again here, we want a leg coming about like that. We want it on the same plane. And we can have like a little triangly kind of shape there. Around about here on the corner, we want to have two ovals like that. And then we want two circles in there as well. And those are his sleeves. And that's kind of where his hand, his arm comes out. And we'll have an arm coming out there and little kind of cuffs and then a thumb and a hand. And he's got some kind of a money purse or something like that in his hand there. And again here, he's got a dagger <laughs> to warn everybody off. <laughs> them know he's the boss and then this is going to come kind of around like that and that's going to come around there that will come to about there that will come to about there and we'll have these little things going up that's enough fiddling about that <laughs> step two let's start inking this in that's kind of his cap there and we can bring this line around like that to get so, so we can <laughs> that gives us a starting point so round about in the middle here we want these two very piercing eyes and then draw the eyelids above it so they're kind of quite shrouded and then here's these great big arching eyebrows and quite a little nose <laughs> and then we want his moustache if we sort of draw that sort of coming down like that and then it sort of comes around into this beard like this so we can maybe make this a bit more sort of hairy around the edge and then it sort of comes around like that and it's sort of these sort of circularly curvy shapes like that and he has a tiny little mean little mouth <laughs> <laughs> and um, there's quite small ears as well just sticking out of the side. Let's draw the hat coming out like that and around in a nice curve and we can draw these little curves. They're kind of little rows of pearls which are kind of dangling down like that so you could put little um, lines inside them there and then here we want a kind of a it's a sort of an ostrich feather kind of thing going all the way around it like that. Good. 
Now we want a collar sticking out there and then the top of his tunic, kind of about like that. Now I think we always need to draw the things that are nearest to us first and then we can fit everything in behind. Uh, so let's draw these sleeves which are going to be coming around like that and then we want kind of lacy <laughs> cuffs sticking out and they'll be kind of like that. And then here we'll have another little sort of mm, well, it would be a circle of the sleeve cuff, but some of it's hidden around behind. So they're like sort of two little half moons, really. And we can probably fill these great big round sleeves in there as well, like that. Just like that. And let's do the hands. So that's kind of holding the top of this purse thing going on there. One, two, three, something like that. Those are his hands. And so that's the money bag, something like that. And the same here, we can do one, two, three, four. And that will come into this kind of dagger, like that. Which is sort of going to be off there like that. Now next we can fit this bit in coming around there and that will then come down a bit and down a bit and in and we can have this is the kind of overcoat part which is now coming down much bigger and that can go up there like that and that will then come around there this, this is quite complicated actually <laughs> so, um, so if you know you if I'm going too fast for you, you can stop and start and replay any time. If you're on a computer, press the space bar and that will stop. If you're on a tablet or a phone, just press the screen and that will stop and start it usually. Now let's do that. So we're going to have that sort of coming down to there, which means that that's going to be the overcoat. That can come down here again. That will be there so that's kind of the overcoat and let's put this sort of great big <laughs> it's kind of a waistcoat thing going on here so we'll just do two little two lines there to accentuate that and then here he's got um, it's a kind of a cord that's acting as a belt there and then let's come down there like that and put one and two and three so this is like a skirt and then we need to draw his legs so he's very 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 proud of his calf muscles <laughs> okay so we need to accentuate those and so we need to get a kind of a nice sort of curve coming like that and then here that will be kind of curving down there and then the shoe is very flat heeled. Flat sole rather. And again here, then this is gonna be a very sort of flat sole like that. And I think we basically got, let's have him on the field of the cloth of gold. That just means we have a bit of grass sitting around there. So now we have step three and we erase those pencil lines and you know, if you press too hard, it's going to be difficult. <laughs> so when you pencil out a, a drawing and plan it out, try and draw it as gently as possible because otherwise it's going to be really hard to erase. Now, what we have got here is we, I've completely forgot. So let's put a little circle like that. It's an oval, isn't it? Like that. And another one like that. And another one about there. And let's have another one kind of there. And we're going to have these as a kind of a chain coming around like that. And then he's got another one sort of coming down about there, a medallion kind of thing. Let's put little extra little circles inside there. Now on the sleeves, we're going to add a little bit of um, 
pattern, just a little bit of interest. We're sort of go like that. And here we can have some extra little things going on there. And again on this side, so try these sort of two caps. They're sort of ribbons that are sewn on or something, just to add a bit of extra interest. And down the sleeves here, we've got these kind of lozenge shapes. They're slits. <laughs> They're slits in the outer cloth so that the, the lacy stuff on the inside will show through. And then there'll be some jewels stitched on there as well. So again, we want these kind of slits uh, down the side. And let's put those jewels in as well. And again, we have these slits on the tunic as well so they'll be coming down like that and we want them angled this way coming down there there'll be slits up there as well and that's the kind of the center so we'll probably fit more in about like that and one more row in there and then we'll put these jewels in as well in between just kind of fill it all out really. Hey if you got this far you obviously like drawing so make sure you click that subscribe button and keep coming back to the Shoe Rain Drawing channel for lots more drawings every week. Now we're going to draw this kind of pattern again on the bottom with these kind of ribbon things added on there like that. We can add a little bit more featheriness in the top there. And then I, I love his shoes. They, they had these kind of slits at the bottom which make his feet look like kind of lion's paws. And we'll probably have some things going on up there as well. And I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow underneath here uh, to accentuate his fine legs, <laughs> which he really was very pleased with, I think. And he used to show off his, his calves to people. And uh, we could maybe kind of do a little bit of curliness in there, sort of pattern for a bit of embroidery, something like that. And I think you could maybe do a bit of kind of embroidery as well like that, which will be kind of silver embroidery probably, but it just adds a little bit of texture. So they're kind of S shapes and curls, just don't do too many, just kind of, it's just breaking up the, the, the white, oh, we don't want that there, do we? No, I'm going to uh, put a line down there, a, a, a line of hatching there and a line of hatching on that side just to kind of make that um, dagger stand out that little bit more. And if you want, you can do lots and lots of shading, which will just be, it's just this, this is called hatching where we're just kind of making these little lines which sort of fall where the shadows fall. And then just kind of help that. I think I'm going to add a bit of cross hatching here as well, just to make that a bit darker. And I'll leave you to color it in. And you can do this in kind of grays and browns and dark reds. And there you go, how to draw Henry VIII. If you want to share your drawing, use the hashtag Shoebydoodle on Twitter or Instagram. And uh, if I see it, I'll share it. Thanks for watching and keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel for lots more drawings every week. And in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.